Hi there. Now, in this video, just going to be looking at part B of this question, where we're told that a patient arrives at 11.30 a.m., and now we've got to find the probability that the next patient arrives before 11.45 a.m. So, remember in the previous parts of this question, I showed you that what we have here is a Poisson distribution. So, I need to define a new random variable. We need to look at this 15 minute interval. And what we're expecting is that one or more patients arrive. So let's start by defining a random variable. Let's just say let x be the random variable. If we used x in the previous part, we're now redefining it, okay? Let x be the random variable, and we'll have it as the number of patients, okay? Number of patients then, we'll say arriving per 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes then is quarter of an hour. So we know then that our random variable x is distributed as a Poisson. And since we had six in an hour, for quarter of an hour, that's got to be 1.5 patients we're expecting, okay? So to work out then the probability that the next patient, just put an intro here, that the next patient arrives Okay, before 11.45 a.m. That's going to be equal to the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. And that's going to be equal to 1 minus the probability of x equaling 0. And so this is going to be equal to 1 minus, and we should be used to the Poisson distribution formally, just a reminder there, okay? Then probability x equals 0 is going to be e to the power minus 1.5, so that's that, and then it's going to be 1.5 to the power 0, and that's divided by 0 factorial. Remember 0 factorial is defined as 1, this is 1 here, so it's just 1 minus e to the power minus 1.5. And if you do that on your calculator, you should find you get 0 0.7768 and so on. And rounded to three sigma figures, that's going to be 0 0.777 to 3SF.